Ray from Philly on this uh, Wednesday night, April the 4th, got the date right, 2018. Just want to give an update on the uh, inaugural class for the 2018 Baseball Card Hall of Fame. Uh, when I was on last on Monday night, we had 23 YouTubers that had voted. We're now up to 30. So it's uh, grown pretty steadily every day. And we're up to about a hundred cards that different cards that have been voted. And on the contest video, I have a Google Doc sheet. So if you want to see all your names on there, so that you can make sure that I made sure I put you into the contest and got your vote, please do so. Because there could be somebody that didn't link it on my video and I don't know that you voted. So make sure you check the list out that you're on there. Uh, I'll do another update Friday night and go over the list of names. And um, like I said, there's about 100 different cards that have been picked. So here's the leader of the cards so far. It changed a little bit since Monday night. Uh, I'll start with 10th place going up to first. Uh, in 10th place is the 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle with eight votes. This is out of 30. So in 10th place is 51 Bowman Mickey Mantle. Uh, after that, in 9th is the 33 Gowdy Babe Ruth card number 144 in 10th place. After that is the 49 Leaf Jackie Robinson, the 80 Tops Ricky Henderson. The Robinson has 11. The 80 Tops Ricky Henderson has 12. Uh, the 51 Bowman Willie Mays has 12. The 68 Tops Nolan Ryan has 14. The 54 Tops Hank Aaron has 20. And the top three has changed. Uh, in third place now is the 89 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. with 21. That card was in first place, has now been bumped down to third. And um, in second place is the T206 Onus Wagner with 23. And now the new leader in first place is the 52 Tops Mickey Mantle. So Mantle was in third. Wagner stays at second. Wag and Mantle has moved up to first place, and the upper deck Griffey has moved down to third. Uh, what else has moved? The 49 Leaf Jackie Robinson uh, wasn't even in the top 10, is now eighth. And on the outside looking in of the top 10 is the 33 Gowdy Ruth card number 53 with seven votes and 10th place is the Bowman mantle with eight. And then in the outside looking in is the 33 Gowdy Ruth number 53 with seven, the 55 tops Roberto Clemente with seven and the 89 Fleer Billy Ripken has dropped out of the top 10. Now it's at six votes and the 53 Bowman color Pee Wee Reese is at six votes. So there's four cards on the outside looking in the 33 Gowdy Ruth number 53 the 55 Tops Clemente, the 89 Fleer Ripken, and the 53 Bowman Color Pee Wee Reese. They have seven and six votes. There's quite a few with five, and there's a few with four, so they still have a shot. So the ones that have dropped out of it uh, since Monday was the Fleer Ripken uh, error card. Um, and uh, taking its place has been the 49 Leaf Jackie Robinson. So there you have it. There's the, le the leaders as of right now. I'm going to do one more update on Friday night. And then Saturday night is um, the last night you can vote at 9 o'clock Eastern time. And um, after that, get down. After that is uh, on Sunday is the announcement of what cards are in. So without further ado, I also have a card for the uh, post-war rookie Hall of Fame set. This is the my... Uh, second favorite set after the 300 great cards uh this one is the 50th card of my set the set holds a, like i said before 99 cards um was ranked 137th and uh, this is the 50th card of my set and it's the 1949 bowman robin roberts rookie in a psa 4 this is a collector's grade so a collector's grade for the 1940s would be a four Investment grade uh, would still be a seven. And as you can see, this card's centered extremely well. It's very clean, no creases. It's a four. It's in the previous holder. 
the current one is the lighthouse. This was the one before. So I'm going to flip the phone, give you guys a closer look at this great card. It's my 50th card of the PSA Postwar Rookie Hall of Fame, the 49 Bowman Hall of Fame pitcher, Robin Roberts. All right, here's a closer look at the 49 Bowman Robin Roberts card. This card looks really phenomenal. Centering is awesome. If you saw the last video from my Postwar Rookie Hall of Fame set, I had the 48 Leaf Ralph Kiner, and that was in the same kind of condition as this. So let me see if I could try and uh, pick up the the writing on this. Um, born in Springfield, Illinois, September 30th, 1926. Signed out of Michigan State for a big bonus. Robin made spring training uh, made spring training trip with Phils in 1948. Then was farmed to Wilmington in International State League. Had a record of nine and one when he was brought up by the Phillies in June, and an average of. Um, Hold on, it's getting blurry. An average of uh, nine strikeouts a game. He fanned 18 in one game, 17 in another. For Phillies, he worked in 20 games, struck out 77 in 148 innings, won seven, lost nine, and pitched nine complete games. Uh, this guy was a phenomenal pitcher. The definition of workhorse is definitely Robin Roberts. When I hear pitchers today that can't, that can't, uh, Pitch more than 68 innings. And I see pitchers like that today that can't even go past 68 pitches. Robin Roberts would uh, pitch complete games, you know, more than most entire pitching staffs. And here's his stats right here. I'll go over this. He had 286 career wins, a 3.41 ERA, 2,357 strikeouts. He was a seven-time All-Star, a four-time Major League Baseball leader in wins. Not National League, the entire Major League. Four-time led the Major Leagues in wins. Two-time led the Major Leagues in strikeouts. Had his number 36 retired with the Phillies. Uh, five-time top 10 MVP voter. So he finished in the top 10 in MVP five times. Uh, Six-time 20-game winner. Led the league in shutouts in 1950 and led the league in complete games five times. This is what I'm saying when I'm talking about complete games. When the, the most complete workhorse I ever saw, and by the way, we have perfect fit sleeves. When I think of that, I mean, everyone talks about Roy Halladay, who was a, a workhorse for the modern era, but for back in the older days, uh, Robin Roberts was the absolute definition of uh, a workhorse. I mean, he would lead the league in complete games. There's some crazy stat where he had like 34 starts one year and had 30 complete games out of his 34 starts. So he was just an absolute um, stud pitcher, a complete workhorse. But there you have it, my 50th card of this set. It moved me up from 137 to 136, but I'm uh, chipping away completing this set. And one look at it again, focus in, is the uh, 1949 Bowman, Robin Roberts, and a PSA VGX4. All right, guys, I appreciate your comments. Don't forget to keep on voting for the contest for the Baseball Card Hall of Fame. And I'll see you again real soon. Keep on collecting. Bye-bye.